Hey, good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? Y'all forgive me, man. I've been kind of sick lately. Uh, but anyway, today main is this your boy Raw Thomas Jr. And this is the real news behind the news. Oh yeah, man. Today is Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. And I want to show y'all again. Man, I do this all the time. Showing y'all how propaganda works. And how false flags are possibly perpetrated. Again, let me go back to the formality. This your boy, Rod Thomas Jr. And this is the real news behind the news. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Today is Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. And we want to talk about how it's awful coincidental that Joe Biden just mentioned when he was over in Europe the uh, last week, week before last, that Vladimir Putin has to be uh, taken out of leadership position in Russia, while at the same time you have a quote-unquote Russian war crime committed in the city of Bucha in the Ukraine. Now, I don't know if y'all been on the rock. Hey, Spin! I'm going to holler at you in a minute, man. Let me come on and holler at you in a second. Now, I don't know if y'all been paying attention. Uh -huh, nothing. I don't know if y'all been paying attention. But recently, again, Joe Biden went over there to Europe, and in his speech, he said that Vladimir Putin needs to be out of office, meaning reg regime change. This is what your government does. They've been doing it effectively. They overthrew the government of Muammar Gaddafi. They overthrew Saddam Hussein's government. They're trying to overthrow the government in Yemen. They're trying to overthrow the government in Syria. I can go on and on. But lately, we have been bombarded with images on television or online or social media showing you a bunch of dead bodies in the city of Bucha. Ukraine. And the narrative is, is that Russian soldiers committed war crimes. Let me ask y'all a question. Give y'all one thing to think about. What if it was the Ukrainian army who took a bunch of dead bodies and staged them on those streets? Because if you look at it, the bodies were staggered out in a, a, in a perfect pattern. And also, the mayor of the city of Bucha in Ukraine, on the 31st of March, when the Russians retreated from that city, he said everything was cool. Oh, yeah, Russia just left. Everything cool right now, man. We just trying to rebuild. We need food, water, and all that, which, which is rightfully so. They probably needed food and water. But guess what? What if those neo-Nazis or what if those Ukrainian soldiers Bought those bodies from somewhere else and put them strategically on the streets of Bucha. Now you got a president who two weeks before this shit even happened, before it came out to our knowledge, said we got to get uh, Vladimir Putin out of there. Now it's all of a sudden convenient <coughs> that after Joe Biden said we got to get Vladimir Putin out of Russia, as, his pre as their president, they show you some shit talking about Putin is guilty of war crimes. Well, guess what? Even if the shit is true, that's the Russian army who did that shit. It was not Vladimir Putin. The reason why I'm telling you all this is because this false flag, possible false flag, let me clear, clarify that for Facebook, because if Facebook tried to take the video down, I got... Everything I'm saying is allegations because Facebook cannot prove to us that Vladimir Putin's armies committed those atrocities. What if the Ukrainian army took a bunch of dead bodies and just put them everywhere on the streets? Hoping that you all would not even think rationally here in the Western media, because let me show you how propaganda works again. Do you realize they cut off all media that will give you an alternative point of view, and eventually they're going to cut my black ass off for giving you all an alternative point of view. But what if those people were already dead? 
Now think about this. On April, I mean on March 31st, again, when the Russians retreated from the city of Baca, the one they're showing y'all now talking about war crimes, everything was cool. Even the mayor on that day said that the Russians have retreated. Everything's good. We just in a rebuilding process. Did he say anything about dead bodies laying on the streets? No, he did not. Don't you think if the Russians would have actually retreated and murdered them people, that's been the first thing the mayor of Baca, the city that they're telling you all, what these quote unquote war crimes were allegedly committed. Don't you think that he would have said that first and foremost? Okay, let me ask you another question. Okay, if Vladimir Putin is responsible for war crimes that his army committed, that means Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, um, Joe Biden, both of the Bushes, Donald Trump, all of them are, are guilty of war crimes. So why are, do y'all realize George Bush and his whole, the, the, uh, George Herbert Bush, I think not George Walker Bush, the young, the young Bush, the young uh, war criminal, of the Bush clan, the second of Bush to become president. Do y'all realize that boy cannot set foot outside of America because he's wanted on war crime charges? Him and Dick Cheney and all that. So do y'all might possibly think that this might be a false flag designed to get you here in America who really don't understand what the fuck is going on in the rest of the world? I'm just calling it what it is. We here in America are the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet because all our media is nothing but propaganda. They got you all so hyped up believing a story that we don't have alternative um, sources to verify. So if Joe Biden is asking for war crimes charges to be brought against Vladimir Putin for what happened in Baca, what about the motherfuckers that you bombed over the last six months? In Somalia, Joe Biden, illegally. What Are we at war with Somalia? Then why is the United States bombing Somalia? That's a war crime. See, Y'all see how propaganda works? Y'all follow me on YouTube in about an hour. I'm going to be going live on YouTube, bringing y'all questions that you're really supposed to ask. You're really supposed to ask questions, man. You're not supposed to believe what Fox, CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, NBC, Bloomberg, um, Wall Street Journal, Wall Street Times. You're not supposed to believe what they tell you at face value. You're supposed to ask questions. And when you ask questions, you're going to ask, well, why didn't the mayor of Baca say that it's dead bodies all over the street? on March 31st of this year. But as soon as the Russians retreat, two days, three days later, after the Russians retreat, now you got dead bodies on the street in Baca. When again, the mayor never said nothing about no dead bodies on the street. Can you say possible false flag? 